Hey fella, my name is Matsy, and I am really into animal husbandry. It's something of a hobby of mine. I'm known to pick up and put down things on a whim, and my doctor says that's normal for people suffering from ADHD. I asked him to clarify suffering, and halfway through his explanation, I forgot that I asked. That aside, Indie Stone has once again proven to me that if the ball keeps rolling, Project Zomboid is going to be my favorite snowball of all time. I could talk about the fishing and the lockpicking mechanics that Indie Stone is planning, but there's something even more important. Something that could shake up Project Zomboid in so many wonderful ways. And that important thing is proper farm animals. Can you tell I'm jazzed? I do want to talk about the progress they've made on these animals and how excited I am to have even more life pumped into a game that's already teeming with atmosphere and personality, but before I get into that, I want to mention the absolutely maddening extent this framework can be taken to. We already know they're planning NPCs, that's old news, whatever. But with the basic framework of these farm animals, they could feasibly extend this into multiple different types of animals that would pose a danger to us as survivors, or could help us as survivors. They mentioned in a previous Thursday that the current starting occupations would eventually fade into trades as a world or a server progresses in years. Imagine, you join a server that's been up for several, several in-game years, and when you load in, you're loading into a medieval zombie-filled world. Cars are all torn apart and stripped for their metal, gas is nowhere on the map, but we have horses pulling Mad Max-looking chariots, can you imagine how sick that would be? As resources grow scarce, you'll need to venture further and further away from the safety of your walls, but zombies are not the only thing you need to worry about. Uh, d do bears exist in Kentucky? Wait a minute. Uh... Yeah, you gotta worry about bears, too. Let's not even get into ferrets. Please, Indie Stone, I ask one thing of you. Okay, I ask a lot of you, but I ask one thing of you. One ferret, please. The real-world logistics of caring for a ferret during an apocalypse are so terrifyingly not in favor of keeping the ferret that I'm getting sad thinking about it. But imagine if I had one just right here, just on my shoulder at all times. We'd be best friends. I would name him Falcor. After Falcor and I brave the distant wilderness and fight off a bear, there's always the overgrown squirrels to deal with. I'm talking about deer, of course. All this stuff is just me spitballing off the top of my noggin. But I can picture it very clearly, and with the immense amount of work Indie Stone has been putting into Zomboid, I would not doubt that this is a thought in the back of their minds. And a very realistic future. I am unfortunately unable to make promises for Indie Stone and the future of Zomboid, but I can touch on the things that they themselves have mentioned. So far, animals act like animals. That's a shocker, I know. But check it. You can loot a trough. A trough? A tr A trough. I think it's trough. That is not going to fit in a duffel bag. I like the idea that animal growth is determined by separate factors. I'm hoping this means that different adult animals will be different sizes. I think that'll add a nice bit of subtle realism. A and butchering animals. I want to know how they're going to handle that. Are we going to get a butchering table? Are we going to are we going to be able to turn those like gas station locker things into into a meat locker? That'd be kind of cool. I don't think they're going to go that far though. Now Stardew Valley almost had butchering and I can't picture it in a game like that, but this this game would absolutely benefit from butchering. I don't know how long I can survive on small rabbit chunks. I would absolutely love to hunt down a deer or hunt down a bear and j pigs. I'm cool with just pigs, actually. However they decide to do butchering, whether it's hunting or whether it is through the farm animals you grab, I'm hoping we have a good chunk of agency with how it's done. Um, kinda like RimWorld, where you can choose what to amputate. I'm hoping you don't just press on an animal, select butcher, and you get the cuts. I'm kinda hoping there's a bit more to it than that, but we'll see what they implement later on in development. I don't think that's a huge concern right now. One thing that does concern me is that the growth rates are realistic, meaning cows will not be fully grown for two years. Buddy, I can barely last two months consistently. I am never going to see a full-grown cow birthed by my hands. That disappointment aside, I love the bits of realism Indie Stone is so good at adding. If you don't close the hen house door, you might catch yourself a fox. Now that's another animal they can add through the framework set up by these farm animals. And imagine if we had dogs, or cats. Maybe cats to a lesser extent, but just imagine. You know what, I'll admit it. I, I'll be the first to admit it. I want to build a petting zoo in Project Zomboid. There, it's out. Are you happy? I don't know what animals are native to Kentucky. Uh, I don't care. I want every- I want penguins. With these three animals coming into the game, the mechanic of breeding will follow. Uh, Minecraft has prepared me very well for this. You hold wheat in your offhand, you right click, you harvest the adults. What more can Indie Stone add upon that? Oh. 
okay, I guess they could add all that if they so choose. The genetic system they're, they're building is just so solid. I, I did not consider for a moment that they would be talking about genomes and it's just code. It's just straight up code, but it's fantastic. Like they've got genetics, they've got biology, they've got stuff affecting milk quantity. Remember when I said I was excited for the feeling of life that farm animals would pump into Project Zomboid? This is what I mean. These aren't just the same rectangular cows you right click on to feed wheat in the small pen outside your cool starter house. These feel like proper animals. If they find a way to animate different personalities into all these farm animals, then Indie Stone wins. Project Zomboid is game of the year every year. Every year. I, just, I, I love this game a lot. <laughs> I know I'm talking about just a framework of what's to come, a small glimpse into the mind behind the idea, and maybe I am going too far and getting lost in thought, but I stand by what I've said. With the addition of these farm animals as a framework, as a skeleton of an animal system, and later an NPC system, Project Zomboid could be an even richer roleplaying experience than it already is. I understand this video was a huge departure from what I normally make, and if I continue to cover these Thursdoids, then I'll have to refine how I go about it. However, I was just reading into this one, and I immediately knew what I wanted to talk about. But if you're new to Zomboid, I recommend you go check out this beginner's guide right here. Thank you so much to my first patron, Ariad. I didn't think I was going to get this far, and uh, you're a champion, dude. Thank you so much.